Zealand's perceived um, in the textile world, in particular, uh, very highly. Each one of those bales is about $25,000 worth of possum fibre in. Around about 50 tonne of possum fibre a year, which equates to around about a million possums. Itself has actually got hollow pockets within the individual fibres, and uh, those hollow pockets uh, help insulate, so in terms of warmth, it's about 50% warmer than 100% merino on its own. Straight out of the dye vat now, that here is quite a small one, um, which we would dye for uh, just a small maybe sample batch of yarn. All of the batches that have been dyed and gone through the hydro and the RF dryer will then sit here for 24 to 48 hours and this allows the individual fibres to condition to the environment and disperse the moisture within the individual fibres evenly. Obviously all of our programming through our mill uh, is done on colours, so all the charcoals will kind of get put one after the other and then we'll move into like the greys and other, so we have to be very wary of all the colours so there's no contamination throughout the, the process. You can see along there all of the individual fibres being pulled apart and, um, and put back together in these sheet forms. You can see the colour is now sort of really coming to its own in, in the sense that it's mixing really, really well. So the next process that we're going to go look at is uh, putting a twist in the yarn. So these machines are possibly the only um, mule spinning machines in the southern hemisphere. So that's motorised. As it's going out, it's putting a twist into the single ply running it back onto the uh, spindle there. So what we do is we run it off these spindles as they go through these, uh, these automatic winders that have sensors. The sensors will look for any knots that have been put in in the process that we just saw. What we do is actually cut out those little bits of the, the yarn and then rejoin them together using a gear splice. Everything we do here, we actually sweep up all carding waste, all fibre, any slubbing, anything, and they get uh, colour separated. And these actually go into recycled yarn programs as well. New Zealand's perceived um, in the textile world, in particular, uh, very highly. And, and we've kind of added to that uh, a little bit in the sense that we've, we've taken a new fibre, being the, the brushtail possum, and mixed it in with that New Zealand wool. A lot of the customers we talk to, they, they know just enough about New Zealand that they uh, already understand it. it. Stands for a very high quality product.